Hey friends, Tony here from Teal Yarn Crafts and today I'm walking you through how to make two color striped Tunisian crochet mitered squares. If you're excited to learn this Tunisian crochet stitch with me, be sure to like this video and consider subscribing to my channel for even more crochet tutorials, free patterns, and product reviews. For this tutorial, I'm using a 6.5mm Tunisian crochet hook and worsted weight yarn. Mitered squares begin with an odd number of stitches for the foundation. For my sample, I'm working over 31 stitches. I'll begin by choosing the first of my two colors, making a slip knot, placing that on my hook and tightening down, and I'll chain 31. So yarn over, pull up the loop for one, here's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, there's thirty, and thirty-one. And now we'll flip our chain over and we're gonna find these little bumps on the back of our chain. So we're going to skip the first chain, find the second chain, insert our hook under that back bump, yarn over and pull up the loop. Insert under the back bump, yarn over, pull up a loop. Insert under the back bump, yarn over, pull up a loop. And we're gonna do that for each loop across our chain. Insert, yarn over, pull up the loop going under just that back bump, insert, use your nail if you need to, insert yarn over, pull up a loop. I'm gonna pick up the pace a little bit to get to the end of my chain. Alrighty, last chain here. And you can give your loops a count if you need to. You should have the same number of loops on your hook as the number of chains that you started with. So I'll have 31 loops. And now we wanna work those loops off of our hook during the return pass. So we start off with a yarn over, pull through one for a chain one. And then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, until there are two loops left on our hook. Yarn over, pull through the next two loops, yarn over, pull through the next two loops. Yarn over through two, through two, through two, until there's two loops left on the hook, and then we'll change color. Yarn over through two, through two, through two, almost there. Yarn over through two, and we've got two loops left on our hook. So this is where we wanna stop and grab our second color. So we're just gonna drop this color, leave it attached to our project, and grab our other color. I'm going with this taupey brown. And I'm gonna yarn over, and I'm gonna pull through two loops. So at this point, I'm gonna Tunisian simple stitch until I get to the center three stitches on my foundation here. So since I started with 31 stitches, I'm going to Tunisian simple stitch 14, and then I'll move on to the next step. So this first loop on my hook counts as my first stitch. I'm skipping this first vertical bar. So now I'm inserting under the next vertical bar, yarn over, pull up a loop. This is now two stitches. Go to my next vertical bar, yarn over, pull up a loop, that's three. Insert, yarn over, pull up a loop for four. Here's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. 
So this is where I want to do my decrease because this is going to be the center ridge that runs down the middle of my mitered square. So I'm going to insert my hook under each of these three vertical bars. So here's the first stitch, the second, and the third. I'm going to now yarn over and pull up a loop in each of those three bars. So that is a Tunisian simple stitch three together. You can mark this stitch. I find it's pretty obvious as you continue to work your mitered square where this stitch is, but you could use a locking stitch marker to mark this stitch if you need to. And now we're going to simple stitch through the end of the row. So insert in the next vertical bar, yarn over, pull up a loop, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop. We're going to do that for each vertical bar across the row. And we are going to count our stitches just to make sure that we found that true center three stitches. So insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop. We've got one more stitch here, and then we have our last stitch. So to work in that stitch, I'm going to rotate my work towards me, tighten down a little so you can really see what I'm doing. Let's brighten that up a bit. So you can see this front vertical bar pretty clearly. Right behind that front vertical bar is a back bar. And we'll want to insert our hook under both of these bars to make sure we keep a nice clean edge. So insert under both of those bars, yarn over, and pull up a loop. So I'm going to stop here. I'm going to zoom out. And we're going to do a count. So if I find my center stitch here, I should have 14 loops on this side and 14 loops on this side, not counting this stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Not counting that center stitch again. I'll count on this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So you want to have the same number of stitches on either side of that center stitch. So let's tighten back down again. And let's do our return pass. So remember that starts with a yarn over, pull through one for a chain, then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to do that until we've got two loops left on our hook because we'll change color again. We don't have to do anything special when we get to that Tunisian simple stitch three together. We're just continuing with our yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two, through two, through two. Again, just until we have two loops left on our hook, and we're going to change color again. Yarn over, pull through two, through two, and through two. So these are our two loops. I'm going to drop my taupe. And I'm going to pick up my cream. Now I'm going to yarn over my hook and pull through those last two loops. And that's how I'll do my color change at the end of each row. So now I want to Tunisian simple stitch until I get to one stitch before my center stitch. So we're going to skip this first vertical bar because the loop on the hook counts as our first stitch. Insert under the next vertical bar, yarn over, pull up a loop. Insert yarn over, pull up a loop. And again, we're going to do that until we get to one stitch before our center stitch. Insert yarn over, pull up a loop. Insert yarn over, pull up a loop. So let me find my center stitch. It's here. I want to stop when I get to this point so I can see I have three stitches until I get to that point. There's one. Here's two. And three. So here's my center stitch here. I want to find the stitch on either side of it. And I'm going to insert my hook under each of those three stitches. So here's the first, there's the center, and here's the last. Yarn over, pull up a loop through all three of those to Tunisian simple stitch three together right there in the middle. And now I'm just going to simple stitch across the rest of the row. Insert, pull up a loop, 
Next vertical bar, insert pull up a loop. Insert pull up a loop. Just Tunisian simple stitching across the rest of the row. There's no need to count at this point. You can count at the end of your row just to make sure you didn't miss any stitches and also to make sure that you have the same number of stitches on either side of your decrease. But if you're feeling pretty confident with that, you can just keep going. Again, at the end of this row, we're going to find the two loops here at the top of the row. Insert our hook under both of those loops, yarn over, and pull up a loop. Chain one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, until there are two loops left on the hook. So again, it's yarn over, pull through two, yarn over through two, yarn over through two, until there are two loops left on the hook. Yarn over through two, through two, through two, through two, 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 and two. Two loops left on the hook. Again, I'm gonna drop my cream color, leaving it attached to my work. I'm gonna grab my taupe color, yarn over, pull through those last two loops. Again, I'm going to Tunisian simple stitch starting in that second loop here until I get to one stitch before my center stitch. Insert yarn over, pull up the loop. Insert yarn over, pull up the loop. So I can feel my center stitch getting close. It's right here. And I'm going to stop at the stitch right before it so I can see I've got two stitches left that need to be worked. Find the stitch before and after the center stitch, insert my hook under each of those three stitches, yarn over, pull up a loop in all three of those stitches, and then simple stitch across the rest of the row. Insert yarn over, pull up the loop, insert yarn over, pull up the loop. Continue on till we get to that last stitch. one and two more here at my last stitch I'm rotating my work towards me finding those two loops at the top of the stitch inserting under both of those loops yarn over pull up the loop chain one yarn over pull through two through two yarn over pull through two until you got two loops left on your hook yarn over through two through two and through two. Yarn over through two, through two, through two, through two, and through two. So if we take a look at what we've got so far, we can see the outside of our square emerging with those pretty Tunisian simple stitch bars. So we'll want to repeat this until our working row, which is this row of live stitches, only has five stitches on that working row. So I'm going to continue working on mine off camera. Join me back here when your working row has five stitches. So I'm now at the point that I have five stitches on my working row. So we can see I've got one, two, three, four, and five. So now I'm going to Tunisian simple stitch three together over these next three loops. There's one, two, and three. Yarn over, pull through all three. And then I've got my last stitch here. I'm going to insert under both loops of that last stitch. Yarn over, pull up the loop. Got three loops on my hook, so three stitches. We went from five to three. I'm gonna chain one, yarn over, pull through two. I've got two loops on my hook, so I'm gonna drop this color, yarn over, pull through two with that last color. And then I'm gonna insert my hook into this next loop and into my last stitch, ensuring that I get under 
all three of the, or uh, under both of the loops of my last stitch. I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to pull through all of the loops on my hook. And that completes the last stitch of my mitered square. So if I zoom out, it's a little wonky here, so you'll definitely want to block your square. But that, my friends, is how you make a two-color striped mitered square in Tunisian crochet. This video was made as a supplement to the mitered square as part of the Tunisian holiday sampler blanket. To get the row by row instructions for the mitered square and learn more about this sampler afghan, visit the link in the description.